Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam and today is the final reveal video on this 2006 YZ250 right here. So if you've been watching the channel, you know over the past few months, I've been tearing this bike down completely, uh, rebuilding every single part, getting everything powder coated or Cerakoted, and then ordering in a bunch of custom parts. And today we're finally gonna see all that come together, get the plastics on there, uh, get the graphics on, and then see how amazing this bike sounds started up. So make sure to watch to the end of the video so you don't miss out on that. And I do want to mention from the last video, I said if it hits 1,000 likes, I would give away uh, the previous generation of that fat head racing cylinder head. So we did hit that like goal, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about partway through the video how you can get entered to win that. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, there's a ton of stuff to do on this bike today. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bring it inside, and then we can talk about where we're going to get started. All right guys, so we are back inside and the first thing I'm going to start with is this uh, Trail Tech Vapor computer that we installed a couple of videos ago. Uh, but as you can see, we haven't hooked up any of the wires here. So I have the wheel speed sensor, the coolant temperature sensor, and then the RPM sensor, which goes on the spark plug wire right here. And it's just good to get all this wiring figured out before we get the plastics on. So I'm going to go ahead and just do all that. Okay guys, well the Trail Tech computer is all hooked up here and I'll kind of show you guys uh, all the processes that I went to to get it hooked up. It wasn't actually that hard, uh, just a few little things, but you can see here we got our miles per hour reading, um, our RPM, and then our coolant temp reading is all on there. Um, and I'll kind of show you how I hooked up each thing real quick. So this is our coolant temp reading and basically this just taps into the coolant line here and then as coolant flows through the system it just gives a ohm reading up to the computer uh, to basically tell it what temperature the coolant's at to give you an idea of your engine temp. If we come over to the spark plug wire um, you're supposed to wrap this wire around your coil and basically that's just going to give us a reading of how many times that's firing and that'll convert into a RPM reading on the gauge. Um, after I get the engine running, I'll have to verify and make sure that's all set correctly. Last thing I did here was I installed a rotor bolt uh, that has a magnet on it. And then here's our sensor and that sensor is just going to read every time that rotor bolt comes around. Um, I still have to program in the computer the actual wheel size, but I'm going to wait to do that um, until I have the bike running and can actually do a distance test. But yeah, overall, not that much stuff. And then I just kind of zip tied our wires down and put on our two rubber mounts for our gas tank here. But I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead, fill in all the fluids like your oil, your coolant, uh, bleed the brakes and that sort of thing. And then I'll probably get to uh, torquing down all these bolts cause I was waiting to torque everything down until I had the bike uh, together and the suspension set the way it needed to be. And now that everything's together, I think we're good to go ahead, torque everything down. <laughs>
right, so all the fluids, as you guys just saw, were installed and then the brakes were bled. Uh, they feel really good right now. And uh, after that, torqued everything down, everything's ready to go. So the next step is I'm gonna go ahead, throw on this oversized fuel tank I picked up from IMS Fuel Systems. Um, essentially, I just chose this tank because I needed an oversized tank for the Desert and Enduro. Um, this tank is quality, it comes in the OEM color blue. So definitely recommend checking out IMS if you guys need an oversized tank for your bike. Super nice to have on the trails just so you don't have to worry about running out of fuel and things like that So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I got to change the mounts from the stock tank to put it on and then we can go ahead and throw it on the bike All right guys, we got the IMS fuel tank all installed on here. It looks awesome. And also went with the Tusk gas cap just to really finish things off. And the uh, switched out the electric yellow fuel line from Electron. Uh, it's a pretty cool color, but it just doesn't match with this bike. So I switched it out for a blue one. But yeah, I wanna go ahead and talk to you guys about the plastics I got for the bike. Um, so Polysport hooked us up with two different kits for this bike. Um, I did their restyle kit on the Honda CR125 and I went with their restyle kit again for this YZ250 just because it's super affordable and it looks awesome. So uh, they sent over this Nardo gray kit, which is a really cool gray color. And then they sent over the Yamaha factory OEM blue. Um, I'm gonna be running this one to start out just because my graphics match up with this one really nicely. And then uh, the Nardo gray is gonna be awesome to have if I'm doing like single track or something where I don't want the graphics to get messed up then I can throw that kit on there. It's just gonna look great. And I also, they sent over uh, our uh, radiator fins and our rear mud flaps as well. So super excited. Huge shout out to Polysport. And I just can't wait to see all this stuff on the bike. guys well pretty much all the plastics are on here and they're looking absolutely amazing and we're getting super close to finishing off this bike i could not be more excited with how things are coming together uh, but the next step is to go ahead uh throw on the seat but i'm not going to put on this old seat cover it's actually in pretty good condition for the oem cover but it's super slippery super sun faded so uh, we're going to go ahead throw on a brand new seat cover that moto seat sent over um, super grippy uh, that's kind of why I went with this one. It also has the ribbing on it to keep you in place while you're riding. Um, and then also just a really awesome color combo uh, that's going to match up really nicely with the graphics kit that I'll show you guys here in a bit. But yeah, if you guys want to check out Moto Seat, I'll have them down in the description. And I'm going to go ahead, uh, throw this awesome cover on here, and then uh, throw the seat onto the bike. All right, guys, just really quick before I go ahead, throw on that seat cover. I just want to mention how you can get entered to win this Fathead Racing cylinder head right here. So super easy. I have a link down below in the video description to my new website where we're selling a bunch of different parts. So check out those parts while you're over there. But when you click that link, um, it's going to bring you to a page and all you're going to have to do is enter in some basic information uh, to get entered to win this head. Um, it's going to come with a bunch of different things here. So we got our O-rings, hardware, an extra dome if you want to play around uh, with the compression on it. 
and our engine mounting plates. Now, I'm not going to limit it to just people with YZ250s. You can get entered to win this thing if you have any bike, um, but it is only going to fit YZ250s. So if you win it and you don't have a YZ250, uh, you can always resell it or just keep it as a pizza memorabilia. Yep, I'm going to go ahead, throw on the seat cover. Just wanted to mention how you guys can get entered to win it. Right, guys well the seat cover is all on the bike it looks absolutely amazing on here i'm super happy with it um just really ties everything together but the next thing i'm gonna go ahead uh throw the graphics on the bike it's getting late tonight so i'm just gonna get them on there and then in the morning we have light outside we can go out there check out how awesome the bike looks and hear this thing run for the first time All right guys, well, as you just saw, the bike came out absolutely amazing. I could not be happier with it. I wanna hear your guys' thoughts though down in the comment section or just give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this series. I got this graphics kit from Fast Track Moto. Um, I'll have their link to their website down below in the description, but they absolutely killed this kit. Um, we went with a matte color on here just to kind of keep everything uh, super sleek, but also not have the graphics like over pronounced on the bike and just allow some of the awesome parts on here to stand out um, and I also as you guys know I tore this thing down to a frame and just rebuilt everything to OEM quality or in a lot of cases a lot better to turn it into a desert and enduro bike so that's why I put the 250X here uh, which is Yamaha's trail edition so just a little touch there that I think really uh, sets this bike apart but yeah I'll kind of go into detail later on on all the parts on this bike but for now, I want to give a huge shout out to all the companies that have helped uh, me get to this point and make this bike a reality. But without further ado, I know you guys have been waiting a really long time to hear this thing run. And so have I. So I'm going to go ahead, grab some gas, and we can see if she's going to start up. I mixed this gas 32 to 1 for the break-in, so it might be a little smoky, but uh, it'll be good for the uh, first couple hours. All right guys, choke is now on, so we're gonna see how many kicks it takes. There's one. It's close. Alright guys, well the bike sounded amazing, started up 4th or 5th kick, I can't remember exactly which one, but uh, super happy it started up really quickly and sounded absolutely amazing. I uh, wasn't able to uh, go past half, half throttle just because the bike's still getting broken in, uh, but I will have videos of me riding it probably here soon. Uh, I'm going to do a time lapse of the entire build, so I'll probably put uh, some riding footage at the end of that. So make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on the time lapse of this entire build. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see the gray plastic kit on the bike here soon. And uh, if you want to help support the channel, shop your Power Sport parts at the D-Zone. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.